Now the mirror I'm using is an 18 by 24 inch mirror. Here are the dimensions of the wood with some 45 angle cuts. Here you can see what it looks like roughly laid out. Now I'm going to add some glue to the corners and square it to make sure everything fits properly. I'm going to put in some support nails on the corners. This will increase the strength of the structure. Next, I made an inside frame to hold the mirror in place on top of the front frame. Again, I added some glue and nails to this as well. Here are the frames. Here I measure an inch and a half down so that the inside frame is level with the outside frame. Add some glue to the bottom and now we'll stick it on the front frame, lining it up with that line I made previous. Clean off any excess glue on the inside. Now I didn't have any clamps to put these together, so I just used some extra weight on the frame and left it overnight. Here's what it looks like after. Now we're gonna put the mirror in to make sure it fits. Looks good. Now here are the main components going to be in it. A Raspberry Pi. You got your monitor. Here we have the HDMI control panel, the LCD screen and the backlight. There's your the HDMI. That adjusts the brightness of the monitor. And that fits perfectly in the corner. I'm also gonna be using some heat sinks on the Raspberry Pi. Because the software can be processor dependent, this will allow for the heat to dissipate a lot more efficiently. Next, we have the material that's gonna take up the rest of the mirror. As you can see, no light can shine through this. I'm gonna trace it out and cut it out based on the mirror dimensions. Now I'll show you how this works. Here you can see it is see-through completely. You can see my hand. Now if we add this to it, looks just like a normal mirror, no see-through. So now we're gonna do a rough installation to see how it looks. Now I wanted the frame to match the rest of my furniture, so I stained it a dark brown espresso color. It looked nice up against my wall and in comparison to my other furniture. Next I drilled a few holes for ventilation. Again, let's put it back together. And now here I have some support screws that go into the frame and some little hinges on the edge. Now let's add the indicator LED lights. I have to drill through the frame a little bit in order to get the wires through the outside to the inside. That's okay. Now all I have to do is stick it and feed the wire through. Here you can see them working with the Raspberry Pi, plugged into the Raspberry Pi. And here's the circuit that you're gonna be using. Here's an N-channel MOSFET connected to the Raspberry Pi and some LED lights. Here I got a stickable breadboard, which made it easier to just plug it in. Next, to turn the mirror on and off, I'm gonna be using a Sonos switch. It's basically just screw terminals that connect to my extension cord. 
So here I strip some of the extension cord. White is neutral, black is the line, and green is your ground. All we need is ground and lines. Then I snip those and strip the ends. Now I can feed it into the sewn off switch, L for line, N for neutral. Next we're gonna go on to the Amazon Alexa app. I'm gonna to go to smart home devices and connect to it. Sync it in here as a device. Next I'm gonna to go to routines. And I'm gonna set up a routine so that it turns on at a certain time during the day. Now I wake up around 7.30, so I figured I'd have it up, set up to turn on at seven. So by the time I wake up, it's already on. You can repeat this whenever you want. And you can actually have it read the news or weather. So I'm gonna have it read the weather when it turns on as well. Now that that's all set, we can install it into the mirror frame. Here's an old webcam I was using that had a microphone on it that I could use to talk with Alexa. Now I'm going to unplug this for a second, feed it through one of my holes, and replug it in so it's on the outside frame of the mirror. Now the remaining parts to this build are going to be a 5 volt power supply, a 12 volt power supply with a splitter, and an HDMI. Here you can see me plugging everything together and screwing it all in place. Because this looks confusing, here's a basic layout that I drew up for you guys of what I did. Now let's go and hang it up on the wall. I just put two screws to go in the inside. Now I kind of fed the wire back behind my bureau so it's hidden and put the Bose speaker in front of it. And here it is booting up. And you're all set. Alexa, resume music. Okay. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you just plan on using the Pi with the monitor, it's a lot simpler. All you need is the Pi, monitor, power supply, and HDMI. I am releasing the software video for this build very soon. As far as the setup goes, I could have honestly crunched it into a 3 minute video. It's pretty simple. Um, but I go over some aspects of the setup that I think are important when you bring your build a step further. So let me know if you want to see anything else in the comments below, and I will read through them as they come in. Give this video a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and if not, give me a thumbs down. I will continue to improve on these projects and upload more like this in the future.